So have you had to turn down work before because you didn't have this machine? Absolutely, we've turned it down, one, because we can't do it, because of the complexity, but two, cost-wise, uh, if we have to use three, four axis machines, we're obviously into potentially three setups. I'm here on the NCMT stand at Mac 2022. I'm talking to Mark Manning about one of these machines, because you just bought one of these machines, Mark. What did you buy it for? Uh, well, we bought it because uh, we can manufacture gears on it uh, by using the Dontine software. Uh, and we've taken a contract on recently for some complex uh, marine, uh, 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 marine outboard engine uh, castings that we've uh, been machining since February. So it's been a pretty good find for us. Okay, so um, uh, it's allowed us to, to get into the five axis world and it's allowed us to, uh, uh, to work with a new customer on additional components that he wanted us to machine. So would, before you had the machine, did you have any problems that are definitely going to be solved once this is up and running? Uh, well, uh, productivity-wise, um, uh, I suppose five axis allows you to be more competitive. Uh, combined with the uh, zero point uh, fixturing um, and, the, and the type of work holding that we're using, we're able to optimise speeds and feeds and be more competitive than we were uh, prior using our four axis machines and our three axis machines, where we'd have to double up on machines to uh, achieve the same thing. Okay. So, yeah. so, so uh, if I'm hearing this right, you didn't have any five-axis capability before you bought this machine. Uh, no, well, we've got a five-stroke six-axis. We've got a we've got a, a turn mill inside the business, but that doesn't allow us to do the, the the size castings that we wanted to do. Okay, this may be entry level. It may not have the biggest of windows, but actually, it'll cover probably 80% of anything that our customers require us to do. So, have you had to turn down work before because you didn't have this machine? Absolutely, we've turned it down one because we can't do it, because of the complexity, but two, cost-wise, uh, if we have to use three, four axis machines, we're obviously into potentially three setups, whereas we can, we can, have a, we can just obviously face the, uh, uh, the one part of a, a casting or a, or a solid billet, or a billet, and then we can uh, just do the five axis and complete the rest of the, uh, the, the machine activity in one strike afterwards. So, so yeah, uh, we, we couldn't compete. You were talking about opportunity costs earlier, and those are things that sometimes a lot of engineering managers and directors don't think about because it's, it's, it's impossible to imagine all the possibilities of where you could be making money and where you can't. So in terms of opportunity costs, do you think, where do you think this puts you that, compared to where you were before? I think it's, uh, it, it gives us a great advantage. I mean, as a business, Richmond Walsh is a, is a transmission component manufacturing company. That's where it's lived for the last 50 odd years since, uh, since it was born. However, the, the one area it's never been able to compete in is actually to be able to machine the casings, okay? Uh, not necessarily the gearbox casings that we can do on different types of machines, but all the add-on casings, and, uh, and especially if we're talking about the casings for transmissions such as uh, outboard marine engines. Um, so it's allowed us to enter those markets. Um, uh, we couldn't have done it before. Uh, we're hoping this is just the start of something uh, uh, for the business. Uh, we started the contract off. You know, if we can success, well, we are successfully delivering with the current with the customer to his current requirements. Um, if we can actually expand that out and actually become part of his volume supply, I expect to see more of these machines in our factory in the coming was it 12 to 18 months. Brilliant. So you heard it here first. Obviously, 12 to 18 months, he's going to go for hopefully some more Genos M460s because they're an entry level, but they're not an entry level. You need to check out these if you're interested in five axis.